What's going on YouTube? Geosno8 here. So in today's video I have some great news for those of you waiting for a jailbreak on iOS 11.3.1.3, iOS 11.2.x and so on. So we're going to discuss about a demo of a new jailbreak by MeanSpark Zeng. If you remember this guy has been getting involved in iOS a lot lately and he has demoed a couple of vulnerabilities and apparently uh, two days ago he demoed a jailbreak but only as two images. If you take a look in here on his profile on Twitter you can see that I'm talking about these images in here that he has posted on May 8 which pretty much shows the Cydia icon on a device, the mobile terminal over Sky probably is an application and then he shows the mobile terminal open with a couple of commands like uname a and so on. Well, he also posted a couple of hours ago a video in here, you can see the tweet in here, uh, that this one has been posted like 20 hours ago, but I didn't cover it due to the fact that it's not very, very important at this point since the release is not right now. I'm going to talk about the release though. So he says I was 11.3.1, it's not a problem. And he posts this video in here to which a lot of you responded very, very very bad. I mean 95 dislikes is a lot for a jailbreak demo for the latest version of iOS coming from a trusted developer, coming from a trusted security researcher. Um, I see a lot of people are giving likes, like hundreds of thousands of likes to fake jailbreak videos, probably like this one in here, which says jailbreak iOS 11.3.1.3 Pangu jailbreak full untethered released. This one is definitely a fake video, but if you take a look in there, it's most likely having way more likes than this video, which is bad. This guy is a trusted security researcher, so please go ahead, check out the video in the description, and if you like it, give it a like, because he deserves it. But anyways, he goes ahead and shows the device he's running, which is pretty much running 11.3.1, confirming the fact that uh, MinSpark Zeng is running the latest version of iOS currently available. And of course, it goes to show how the uh, jailbreak application works. I mean, he opens the terminal and runs a couple of commands. Runs the uname a, which does confirm the correct string for the uname a command, which pretty much let me show you what it prints. So uname, uname a. It prints information about the kernel and the architecture and when it's been built and so on. And this string matches the um, the normal kernel for the iOS 11.3.1. And uh, speaking about the release, a lot of people believe that this guy is just showing off, that he is not going to release ever and stuff like that. At first, why would he demo a jailbreak? I mean, if you really want just to build a uh, proof of concept of an exploit and so on as he did, you wouldn't need to have Cydia being side loaded. You wouldn't need to have mobile terminal side loaded and you wouldn't need to make uh, tweaks and applications that are dependent on a substrate to work on your jailbreak because it's just a proof of concept and you do not need to have all these in order to report it to Apple and to I don't know, have a bug reported. Yet, MinSpark Zing actually did this. He went the extra mile in order to add Cydia, in order to add the uh, mobile terminal, which apparently works. So, this is a lot of work not to release something. And if you remember, if we go ahead in here through his posts, you can see in here that he said, okay, this is what I was uh, looking for. Quote, we submitted a talk about these vulnerabilities and exploit techniques to a conference. If the talk is accepted, we will help Apple to fix these problems and disclose the detail of the vulnerabilities. And this is when he discovered that there is a zero day in the iOS 11.3 update. So there wouldn't be any point in keeping this jailbreak for himself. So I really, really believe that he might at least release the vulnerability itself after the conference if his talk is accepted. So give this guy a little bit of credit for what he has done. Do not dislike his video just believing that he's not going to release a jailbreak and stuff like that. If you're really acting like this, and disliking his demo just because you believe he's not going to release a jailbreak demo in this video, you're not helping, you're not making the dude to actually push the jailbreak to the general public just because you disliked his video. In fact, it's the total opposite. So please show some respect for developers like him. I really read through the 53 comments in here on his video and some of them are really, really bad. So yeah, but this is actually it, a full jailbreak for the iOS 11.3.1, which is currently the latest version. And this means that that it can be updated to work for iOS 11.3, 2.6, 2.5, and so on, all the way down. Remember that I have asked MeanSpark Zeng whether his vulnerability works on pre-iOS 11.2, and he said yes. 
This means that the vulnerability can pretty much be used for all this range in here with no problem, including for the versions that are already jailbroken with the Electrum. So it's a pretty good news actually, and I really really love the fact that he started to give out more information. It's unusual for researchers working for a company to give more information and to go the extra mile to add Cydia and Mobile Terminal. I'm not entirely sure whether he's going to release it or not, but I tend to believe he will. At first due to the fact that he said he will disclose more information about the vulnerabilities after the talk and of course then because he went the extra mile to add Cydia and to make tweaks and applications to work, for example the mobile terminal, which is a jailbreak application. But anyways, we're going to see whether he's going to release it or not. But it's a big achievement for the jailbreak community because a lot of people thought the jailbreak is dead and it's in fact as alive as it always been. So thank you for watching. Do not forget to subscribe to stay updated. We'll keep you updated with anything important in the jailbreak community. I'm Geosnow. Until the next time, peace out.